What's the haps, chaps? So today, looking at some Kai Judo. My boy Steven, if you watch the other, I mean, if you keep up with my uh, What's in the Box videos, which you probably don't, but uh, he sent me a bunch of these games or whatever, and then he's saying, he's saying we're gonna go ahead and play on webcam tomorrow. So let me crack these babies open. And shout out to my boy, um, Initial J, aka Team Cryptic Core, one word on YouTube. Maybe this nice play mat didn't get to finish before he left town. But yeah, let's see what this uh, Kai Judo is all about. What's going on? All right. Opening tool. Yeah, well, uh, Kodok says, like, nobody has the footage of the, uh, Kaijudo Mall tours. That's crazy. You would think somebody would have the footage. They did a, a tour trying to get people into the game with, uh, by doing, like, mall tours back in the early 2000s, I think. Well, I mean, still to me, could have even been 2010s for all I know. Yeah, when did this game come out? 2012, yeah, so in fact, the 2010s. I heard nothing about this game when it came out. I was in a whole nother life at that time. Anyway. Astinos. The Cloud Knight. Six drop, yellow guy. Double breaker, this creature can break two shields. In Kaijudo, you know, it's the, uh, it is the quintessential shield game because it is Duel Masters. 6,500 health. The battle isn't over yet. Send in Astinos. The Scyther guy. Skyforce champion. Got a little messed up frame right there. Probably that plastic. All right, so six drop, 6,500, double breaker. All right, green guy. Yeah, so this is a green yellow deck. The rules. All right, four drop, sniper, mosquito, mega bug, 4,000, vanilla. And then, uh, like, as you know, every card in Kaijudo can be played as a creature or as mana. So you just flip it. Uh, I think you flip it upside down, then it becomes like a yellow one mana. Or you flip it upside down, it becomes a green one mana. All right, two super mosquito, three, three sniper mosquitoes, brave giant, seven drop, seven thousand, double breaker, can break two seals, and of course there's a, uh, the game begins. You put down five cards in the middle, those will be your shields. When you lose all the shields and get hit one more time, then you lose the game. All right, return to the soil, four drop, shield blast. Instead of putting this spell into your hand from a broken shield, you may cast it for free. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool little uh, trigger thing. Nice. Uh, put target enemy that is level four or less from the battle zone into your opponent's mana zone. All right, just get rid of a blocker. Nice. Well, I mean, everything in the game can't block. It has to have the blocker keyword. But get rid of a nuisance on the board. That's good. Brave Giant, seven drop, double breaker, 7,000. Didn't we already see you? Nah. Did we already see you? Okay, no, just very similar to Astinos. All right, 7,000. One of them's upside down for some reason. Return to the soil again. Three of those, Sprout. Uh, two drop, green, gotta have one green to play this guy. And a Shield Blast, instead of putting this spell into your hand, yeah, put this top card of your deck into your mana zone. Cool. Three of those, Razor Hide, three drop. Quill Spike Harvest. Whenever this creature attacks, you may put the top card of your deck into your mana zone. Nice. 2,000. Three of those. Is the game three of or four of I forget. All right, Keeper of Clouds, four drop, Storm Patrol. Blocker, you may tap this creature to 
change an enemy's creature attack to this creature. Yeah, so it's a direct attack game. And if nobody... Yeah, it's a direct attack game. Yeah, so you get all the creatures off of the field, then you can hit the shields, I guess. And then Skirmisher, this creature can only attack creatures. Okay, maybe some bad guys can really go for the shield, matter of fact. Yeah, I mean, some people can swing for the shield, it looks like. Alright, that's a 4-5. I mean, 4 drop, 5,000. Karate Carrot. Cool concept there. Got all my lights on. Karate Carrot. Powerful attack, plus 2,000. While attacking, this creature gets plus 2,000. And unsliceable, if this creature would be banished, put it into your mana zone instead. Nice. Two of those. Stalker Spear. Two drop. Enforcer. Creature, 2,000 vanilla. Three of those. Rumbling Pterosaur. Five, five. Five for five. Splinter Claw Wasp. Five drop. Uh, 3,000... Attack plus powerful attack plus 4,000 when attacking and double breaker. This creature can break two shields. Ambush scorpion, two drop. Vanilla. Ew, ew, ew. Squish it, squish it, squish it. Alley. Whoever Alley is. Perimeter drone, four drop. 4,000 power. Fear Fang, three drop. Beastkin, 3,000. Thunder Cruiser, one drop. Blocker. And Skirmisher. This creature can only attack creatures. 2,000. One for two. Pretty cool. Sunshock. Two drop. Shield blast. Tap target creature. Tap target enemy creature. Yeah, so so instead of putting the spell into your hand from a broken shield, you may cast it for free. And then this is actually like a... Oh, okay, there are spells. So this is a spell. True drop. You can just cast it from hand to tap target enemy creature. Or if it comes out of your shield... Then you can cast it for free instead of adding it to hand. Alright. Yeah, I guess the next one of these I do might be a short. But yeah, Nature Civilization. Become a Duel Master. Kaiju though. Yeah. I mean, and they had a real good mantra. Yeah, pad this thing out. Just in case. Check out these rules just to be clear on everything real fast. Alright, Become a Duel Master. Kaijudo, teach your friends to play. Three zones. You got the battle zone, summon creatures to fight for you here. You got your shield zone in the middle after the battle zone. Five shields, put your deck and your discard next to the shield zone. Mana zone, where you put your cards for mana. Set up, shuffle your deck, put five cards face down in the shield zone from the top of your deck. Draw five cards, look at them, this is your hand. Decide who'll go first, how to win, hit your opponent with the creature after you've broken all their shields. Two card types, creatures and spells. Yeah, light, water, darkness, fire, and nature. Talk about magic, tap and untap. For some reason they have tapped is going uh, one, two, 70 degrees instead of one, Instead of 90, just to be different. All right, turn order. Untap. If you have any tapped cards, untap them. Two, draw. Draw a card from the top of your deck. On the first turn of your game, the first player skips this draw. Charge mana. Put one card from your hand into the mana zone. You can skip charging mana once you have enough. Ignore the level, power, and abilities of cards in your mana zone. Summoning cast. You may summon creatures and cast spells from your hand. First, you need... At least one mana card that's that that's the same civilization as the card you want to summon or cast. Second, you need to tap a number of mana cards equal to the card's number. Put summon creatures into the battle zone. They can't attack until your next turn. Put spells into your discard pile after you do what they say. And attack. You may attack with as many of your untapped creatures in the battle zone as you want. They attack one at a time. Tap your attacking creature. They choose whether it will attack your opponent or a tapped enemy creature. Yeah, so the opponent is the shields. And then attacking your opponent, if your opponent doesn't have any shields left, when your creature attacks and isn't blocked, you win the game. Otherwise, choose one of your opponent's shields, attacking a tapped creature. The higher... Yes, you can attack tapped creatures, yeah. The higher power creature wins the battle. The losing creature is banished, and it goes to its owner's discard pile. If both creatures have the same power, they're both banished. 
in turn. Now it's your opponent's turn. And I thought they had a mat on here. That's us. The ones that I had had a mat on it. A little paper mat. But anyway, that's 10 minutes. It has been Kaijudo. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, your games.